now for our aromatic hydrocarbons. Under again hydrocarbons. Ito pa rin tayo sa part na to. Okay, Michael Faraday. Okay, siya yung unang naka-discover ng aromatic hydrocarbons. Pero yung theory niya is to reject. Okay, kasi nga hindi incapable to explain the properties of benzene. So, hindi niya explain yung properties ng benzene. Okay, so na-reject yung theory niya. Pagka-aromatic hydrocarbons sa pinag-uusapan, okay, ang papasok sa utak nyo is benzene rings. Okay? And also, aromatic hydrocarbons are called arenes. There are six membered carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Benzene is the simplest aromatic okay, uh, hydrocarbon with alternating single and double bonds. Single, double, single, double, single, double. Pwede rin double, single, double, single, double, single. So, kaya na natin ito, mayroong reversible na arrow. So, all substances that have structures and chemical properties resembling the benzene, lahat na uh, substances ng chemicals na nagre-resemble sa ganitong itsura ng benzene ring are classified as aromatic compounds. In 1865, okay, of August, Kikula proposed that the carbon atoms in a benzene molecule are arranged in a six-membered ring, just like we see here. Okay? With one hydrogen atom bonded to each carbon, one for this carbon, one hydrogen for this carbon, one hydrogen for this carbon, and so on. And with three carbon-carbon double bonds. Carbon-carbon double bonds. Isa, carbon-carbon double bonds, dalawa, carbon-carbon double bonds, tatlo. Aromatic compounds are generally nonpolar. So, nonpolar sila and immiscible with water. Can we say nonpolar? Okay. Uh, uh, hindi ganun ka. Walang nagkakaroon ng electron dense. And of course, on the electron negativity, kinapag-aralan natin yan. As they are often unreactive, and they are useful as solvents, solid solvents, concept for other nonpolar compounds. Aromatic compounds are characterized by a soothy yellow flame. Pag kanaburn siya, may parang sooth powder or particles na color yellow in, in the flame. So, aromatic compounds are produced from a variety of sources. So, napuproduce daw sila mula sa petroleum, all coal, tar. Okay, polyatomic but polyaromatic hydrocarbons are components of atmospheric pollution and are known carcinogens. So, may mga aromatic hydrocarbons, okay, na poly, okay, so maraming content. Polyaromatic, maraming naka-attach, okay, na atom, okay, aside from the carbon and hydrogen are components of atmospheric pollution and are known carcinogens. They also hold great interest because of their role in the origins of life as precursors to nucleotides and amino acids. So, maganda yung, yung aromatic compounds kasi okay, they are involved in the role of the origin of life. So, sila daw yung precursor ng nucleotides and amino acids in our DNA, like on our DNA. So, both ibuprofen and aspirin are relatively aromatic compounds. Ibuprofen and aspirin. So, ibuprofen, ito yung sa mga commercial na medical, mga Advil. They are classified under non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and analgesic. So, pang anti inflam daw sila. So, we have here this Dr. Aspirin and ibuprofen. So, aromatic compound medicines. Ibuprofen and aspirin. Okay, thank you and stay tuned sa mga next pa na video. Thank you.